everyone, it's Tracy here from Becoming Temperance. And today I am going to do a comparison video of my original illustrated herbiary book and deck to the new collectible box set version of the illustrated herbiary. I am so excited to have this because I love this artwork. But these cards, I have a feeling that this was created more as a novelty. And when it sold so well, they were like, maybe we can do better. Uh, because these are the cards that come with the original. And let's have a quick look at the original first. This is my original book that had the cards that came in this sleeve, this paper sleeve in the back, and had to be punched out. There were four on each sheet. And you can see the little punch out marks where it was punched out. And there, I believe, are, yeah, 36 cards. And the card stock, that's not really card stock, that's, it's, it's like an index card. Um, index cards used to be nice. Index cards aren't nice anymore. They're very flimsy. But this book and this artwork is just lovely. And apparently the creator and the publisher listened to us. They heard us. And they created a new version. And here's our new version, the collectible box set. And it comes in a really lovely two-piece box that I'm not going to keep the book and the cards in. So I'll probably end up using this box to store, I don't know, maybe stickers or other scrapbooking ephemera or pens. I don't know. Because it's just such a really nice, sturdy box and it's so pretty that I'm going to find another use for it. And inside comes the book, which is the exact same book. There is absolutely no difference between this book and the other book. We will look a little more closely in a minute. It comes with a little satin bag, and it comes with cards. Cards out. Uh, the, this piece of the box lifts right out, which is yay. The ribbon is attached to this piece of the box, uh, because this is very flimsy. So this is definitely going to go. So here we have the two books side by side. And this one says includes 36 oracle cards. This one does not because the book does not actually contain the oracle cards the box did. The end paper is the same gorgeous end paper that matches the backs of the cards. This, this is the last page of both books. It's the same. And they end on the same page number. The thank yous on page 167. So without actually reading it line for line and looking, it's a pretty safe assumption that you've got the exact same book in either edition. Let's look at 101. Let's see. New edition, previous edition on the exact same page. Looks exact the same, exactly the same to me. This one. The old edition does have the barcode and the ISBN number on the back and a little round thing that says includes 36 stunning oracle cards that are not on the new one. Yeah, and it's even got all the same quotes from the same people. So let's look at the difference in the cards. Here's our original deck. And here's our new deck. Much, much bigger deck. It's like it might be just a tad smaller than a standard Oracle size. Here I have, um, sorry about the glare. I have a Blue Angel Le Vampires deck. And you can see that it's a tad narrower and shorter than a Blue Angel Oracle deck. But it is definitely bigger than the original. And let's compare it to a tarot deck. Here's a standard tarot 
and you can see that it's about the same height as a standard tarot deck, but wider. Let's see there too, maybe that way. So there you go, that's a, a size comparison. Now, a thickness comparison, <laughs> look at that. First of all, the new deck is gilded and it's beautiful. And you can see that it's, I don't know, almost twice as big depth-wise as the original, which was, you know, nothing special. Uh, the cardstock is really nice. It's, it's not rose petal matte, but it's not, it's not super shiny like a Blue Angel deck. Um, it's very nice cardstock, and we'll shuffle it in a minute. I haven't shuffled it yet. I did put it in alphabetical order. It came in, I have no idea what order. So I put both decks in alphabetical order and hopefully I have put them in the same alphabetical order and we'll have a quick flip through. You'll notice that the, the keywords at the top are still there. And then at the bottom we have the name of the herb or plant. But on the big deck we have a page number. So it says Apple page 32. So that, I guess to help you find the, find it in the, in the guidebook. <laughs> Sounds like they've been listening to us complain about not being able to find the Oracle card in the guidebook. Then we have Burdock, tap your resources. California Poppy. Resurrection. It is much easier to read on the bigger cards. Chickweed. Start fresh. Comfrey. What needs mending? Daisy. Be yourself. The reason I got this deck was for the daisy. Love daisies. Dandelion, Perseverance. Elderberry. <laughs> Sorry. Cycl cycl I know it means like being cyclical. Cyclical. Cyclicality. Cyclicality! Oh. Cyclicality. Hawthorne, Heart's Home. Ladies' Mantle, Fortitude. Lavender, Tough Love. Marshmallow, a spoonful of sugar. Mugwort, between dreams. Mullen, integration. Yeah, that's what that says. Mullion. Nettle, pay attention. Oats, just be. Passion flower, exuberant quietude. Exuberant quietude. Seems a bit of an oxymoron, but I like it. Plantain, rewild. Quaking aspen. We are one. Raspberry, create space. Red clover, center and ground. I can't pronounce this one. Reishi, defying gravity. 
rose crack open rosemary remembrance self heal ripple outward St. John's Wart, Light in the Darkness. Starflower, Finding Grace. There we go. Sweet Violet, Inner Sanctum. Time, Distill Yourself. Trillium, Spirit into Matter. Tulsi, You Are Sacred. Valerian, Release Rigidity. Vervain, Let Magic In. White Sage, Clear the Way. White Willow, The Ways of Water. And Yarrow, Pocket of Protection. So we do have all the same cards. Let's give this new version a shuffle and pull a card and read what it says in the book in case you've never seen this deck before. Yep, that's pretty stiff cardstock. It's um, it's nice. It's really nice. I think it might be easier. Yeah, I'm not getting a very good bridge, but it's it's a little awkward in shape. Yep, that corner shuffle does much better. And then an overhand. Yeah, it slides very nicely overhand. I will say, when I first took it out of the box, uh, I did that yesterday. Uh, the gilding had kind of cemented this into a, a couple, it was more like two sort of bricks, but there is a very simple way to get that broken apart, and I did it and had no trouble. If you just give it a, a bend like that, it'll crack that gilding right open. And these cards came apart, no problem, no damage whatsoever. So let's, let's pull a card. Let's pull a card. I want that one. Self-heal, ripple outward. And that's on page 40. Here we go. Ripple outward, self-heal, prunella, Vulgaris. Pretty, pretty prunella. My teacher used to murmur to this tiny flower with fuzzy leaves and a snapdragon face. Prunella, or self-heal, is a wee thing, small in the way of butterflies whose flapping wings can stir a hurricane half a world away. Like a pebble dropped in a pond, self-heal ripples outward, allowing healing to begin. She reminds you that one properly placed shift, no matter how small, creates concentric circles of effect, each amplifying change. Self-heal knows how to find this center from which all else flows. Ripple out from here, she whispers, as she helps you discover the secret of your own true healing. If self-heal appears for you, it's time to drop your pebble in the pool. And then on the next page, here's a ritual for self-heal. Self-heal reminds you to come to your center because, from that place, a small change can make a significant difference. When your life is out of balance, you're rarely operating from your core. Sometimes you get so stuck in your head that you forget how to have a core at all. Let's remedy that. Find a comfortable place to sit. Take a few deep breaths. With each inhalation, coax your breath lower until you can feel it landing deep down in your lower lungs. Now imagine each breath is a small pebble of light dropping down into your middle. 
No one drop is particularly large, but drop by drop they accumulate until your core is filled with light. Allow the light to ripple outward through your body in a concentric circle, carrying self heals gentle changes. And then here's a reflection. What energy do you radiate? And this, these would be some really good journaling questions here. And then a, a quote, do your little bit of good where you are. It's those little bits of good put together that overwhelm the world, Desmond Tutu. And then I think we move on to the next one, right? Yeah. Yep. So yeah, I love this deck and I love this book and I love that now I have a decent oracle to use with this book because that's, yeah, that's just a really special deck and sp special messages in that book. So I'm really looking forward to using this some more. And thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Have a fabulous day.